Well, this week we've had a couple of videos on age verification. Uh, we're waiting to see what's going on over at SCOTUS. Once that comes through, you'll hear about that. Um, there is also another SCOTUS challenge coming across from the uh, members of the Free Speech Coalition. There's also down in Florida, there is a fight with the age verification law down there. Remember, also kids, it's called a VPN. Just pretend like you're out in Canada. Oh, that'll It'll work. be just fine. Get your VPN out there. You know, your VPN does work if you live in these places where age verification laws uh, does happen. And Kansas is going to be the next battlefront on here because basically now, and you know, you have to remember one thing: the people putting these things out are activists. Yeah, that's right, folks. Is activists. You know, a lot of these politicians that are hit the office, they've been activists for quite some time. The younger ones, they're, they're really bad. I mean, perfect example is AOC. You have AOC right now that she's pushing all this stuff. And she's joined on with Morality and Media, a.k.a. NOSC, uh, to uh, go against certain things that are happening with pornography. But the thing about it is, on the her district, which is here in New York, Queens, uh, one of her sections there, Roosevelt Avenue, prostitution is through the roof. I mean, I got new video footage out there where the cops are just literally feet away from the prostitutes and nothing's being done. I mean, we have that footage. We're going to be showing that uh, down the line. We're right now in the middle of going through a lot of that footage that we received from another YouTuber. And we'll uh, discuss that soon. But getting into this, you have a Kansas Republican who, and this is the title of it, aims to create new bureaucracy to investigate porn websites. That's fine and dandy if you want to investigate, but that's like, you might as well investigate Warner Brothers or basically Paramount or many others. And you might say, well, why would you do that? They've done adult content. They have adult content on their sites. They have stuff that's, you know, you can go over to Netflix right now. There's a couple of things on Netflix and Tubi that you consider borderline porn. Because there's, there's sex in it. You know, hard sex. Not, you know, what you would see in a regular porn movie. But not something you would want kids to see. But also, to the point is that you have, and we'll read this into the air, you're hearing what they want to do is they want to stop people from accessing classic stuff, whether it's art, music, TV shows, movies, you know, many things. And, and that is their end game, is to censor. Remember that, is to censor stuff that they don't want you to see. You know, the other night I was watching... And I understand, you know, that it, it, the premise of this could be, you know, a little infuriating to Asians. But uh, I was watching a serial series. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but, um, you know, the, those uh, 12, 15 episode serials like Flash Gordon, stuff like that. This particular one was a World War II where basically it was involved with spies and stuff like that. And one of the heroes happened to be Asian. He was Asian. The villain wasn't an Asian. It was a uh, white actor with makeup on pretending to be an Asian. You know, when I clicked on the video, and this was on Tubi, it had a warning on it. It, it, it had a contact warning. And it was not a contact warning from Tubi. It was a contact warning from the distributor. Because you could tell that. It was not something that Tubi would put up there. And I said to myself, I said, God, this thing was made in the 19... This was in... Was it pre-code? No, it was during... Somewhere between pre-code and the Hayes Code. And to see this today, it's like, doesn't offend me. I don't think it would offend an Asian. You know, it's a character. The guy's acting, you know. And back then, you know, you didn't... You know, depending on when... And I believe this was... Somewhere during the war, you know, Hollywood did shy away from certain actors and actresses that were of 
say, Japanese descent, especially during the Second World War, because of all the situation, because of Pearl Harbor and all that. But there were some actors out there that, you know, played their roles. They were Asian, whether they were Japanese, Chinese, that were in these movies. Some of them played heroes, while others played villains. But, you know, sometimes you had to add something at that time period as a name so people would watch the series on there. You know, the same thing like the episode of Doctor Who, uh, where they used an, a British actor instead of an Asian. But I'm getting too far away from this. But let's read into this. Republican state senator s- succeeded Monday in moving forward the Kansas version of age verification bills being sponsored around the country by anti-porn religious conservative activists, despite serious concerns raised by House Democrats, and you have to say this, the Democrats are even raising uh, about this, about the cost of establishing a new bureaucracy tasked with investigating websites for porn content. SB 394, carried in the House by Republican Suzanne Humphreys, is now headed to the GOP-controlled Kansas House of Representatives for a full vote, expected in the next few days in Kansas, Miami County Republic reported. If passed, the bill will require age verification for using websites containing 25% or more content considered harmful to minors. You notice the number is getting lower every time. I think, was it Florida was 33%. Now it's 25 here in Kansas. Democrats warned that SB 394 would have a chilling effect on free speech in Kansas and could potentially stop teens from accessing classical works of art, books, LGBTQ material, and other online content housed on websites, as well as potential cost these websites thousands in legal fees, the paper noted. But the, these people will close their sites out and basically you'll have to access them by VPN. Democratic lawmakers also expressed concern that the bill will cost the state approximately $210,000 in the fiscal year 2025, $220,000 or more in the fiscal 2026 to create new positions to investigate websites, the report added. What is that? That sounds like, mm, sounds like what the UK and India were putting, Ministry of, um, of uh, broadcast or minister, ministry of entertainment. You know, that's what they, that, this is what's getting to. That that's what they want to create. You know, when, you, when you're sitting there and you're pointing at certain things that you don't like, you know, that's wrong. You know, if you don't like it, you can't stop someone from watching it. You know, unless it actually really, truly violates us. Like cheese pizza, for example. Humphreys, who pre-politics background is on marketing and Bible studies, no shock on that, uh, workshops dismissed these concerns instead of rallying her fellow Democrats with incendiary claims that pornography normalizes violence and abuse against women and children and debunk pseudoscience pronouncement on how many porn, how, how porn may impact brain development and functioning is potentially biologic and is biologically... Uh, addictive, which is incorrect, it's a pseudoscience, uh, expressly concerned Democratic Representative Re, Re, ex, excuse me if I m- mispronounce this, Re Zhu warned of unintentional consequences, noting that the current slew of age verification bills contain definitions that are much broader than we actually think and could lead to censorship of numerous works of art and literature. See, that's what it is. And people, and this is what I keep saying. And, you know, I do get criticism online and I understand. You can't criticize. But understand this. This is what they want to do. They want to censor. If they don't like, and I bring up the Marge Simpson episode of the, you know, the Simpsons where, you know, they censored itchy and scratchy and then when they um when a particular art piece has come to springfield she's okay with it but everyone else wants nothing the kids not to see it you know if you remember that episode i mean you can't be for one and then for the other you know it has to be 
all or nothing. Under the bill, the Miami County Republic noted that the Attorney General would be empowered to investigate public reports of the website's noncompliance and could seek civil penalties of $500 to $10,000 for each underage visit. I can't see how they would find out if the person was underage. Also, kids, it's called a VPN. Just pretend like you're out in Canada. <laughs> oh, that It'll be works. just fine. The parent or guardian of a minor who gained access to age-restricted websites will be allowed to file a lawsuit and seek damages of 50000 or more, the paper reported. During the debate, Democratic John Carmichael stated, We in America cherish our First Amendment rights. I'm sure all of us people who have given their lives in defense of that First Amendment and the fact that some people find that some material harmful to minors that other people find it to be a good to be of good education should not mean that we should erase materials that some parents may disagree from the internet or for that for that matter school curriculum there are things of this that I agree and disagree with you know like I understand you know I've said before when it comes to LGBTQ I have nothing against that but when you're teaching it to grammar school kids it's not a time and place for that time and place for that is when you get into high school you can start teaching that at a certain level in biology as they get older uh, we had stuff like that I was in a Catholic school and we discussed stuff like this in human relations we had a human relations class and it's the same thing when you get to college there are these courses as well Th these people have the thought patterns that oh we're gonna stop racism by teaching it to little children on there you're you're not going to you're not going to kids are kids they don't understand these things and in order to stop some of this stuff it has to be taught in the home and you're not going to stop some of some of these parents from teaching what they teach to kids these days because unfortunately here here's here's the big thing about it Here's the major thing about it. Today's generation of kids are being raised by parents that were kids themselves when they when they gave birth to most of these kids. And there's no male figure in the family to the situation, or most of these families. You know, most of these kids, especially the minority kids, you know, fathers are not in the picture. And that's a problem. That is a problem. There was a point where we taught, you know, the civics that we need to teach our children to pass on it. That's why you had generations of the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s that fared well better than the kids that are happening now in the 2000 era. Because you have mostly, you know, no, no offense, but you know, you have women just raising kids by themselves without any male figures. You need both the male and the female to strengthen the role of the child because who, who will teach a child to do things it's the mother and the father not just the mother not just the father it's both of them it's both that teach this together and that's how a family grows and the thing about it is is that you know here they're trying to push these age verification and all these laws to censorship but what, what they should be doing is pushing for the nuclear family help these families regain the structure that we are missing even if we have to you know sometimes maybe we need a little church in our lives on there not to the churches that are pushing these things these mega churches and these radicals because it's not all really it's not all catholics it's not all mormons that are looking to the censorship it is just those on the hierarchy or on on their totem that just literally are just wanting to push these politics for control. Remember, it's for control. It always has been, always will be. These are the people we need to vote out of office. When I tell you, when you go to the vote, voting booth, before you go to the voting booth, educate yourself. You can do it. You can look these people up. What bills have they pushed? What makes them, even if they're new to politics, what makes them qualified to be your representative? And that's the important thing. You know, we have rights that 
we should be respected for, that it should be maintained, not the shit that's been going on. I mean, between the age verification, people being arrested. I mean, you know, you, you got press corps being arrested on here. People that have done nothing, that are sitting in jail to this day, that they haven't seen a court judge as far as their trial. Violations of the 5th, the 6th, the 8th amendments on there. Put that in your mind. Think about that for a minute. And I'm not only talking about Trump. I'm not only talking about... There are many other people. If you if you are a watcher of this channel, you know You know we have Mercedes Carrera in the, ball, in, in, in the uh, bullpen. Uh, we're still waiting five years in. And, you know, are we going to go into a sixth year? You know, where are the civil rights attorneys at this point? This is... You know, her case is a violation of her civil rights. And that's what's happening. Violation of amendments, civil rights. You know, we have the Constitution for a reason. And this is exactly what it's supposed to protect us from. You know, people will say, well, that's from some old guys from the colonial era. Yeah, but they wrote it in a way where it would evolve with time. It will evolve, become stronger year to year. That's why the United States of America has been one of the longest lasting republics than any other than the Romans, the Greeks, uh, you know, many different, different, uh, the Ottoman Empire, you know, you've had a lot of these Governments come and go. Ours have been one of the longest running. Why? Because you created laws that evolve as the years go by. And it works. And this is the reason why they wrote it the way they did. People don't approve of it. But the thing about it is, it works and has continued to work. So comment in the in the links below. Let me know your thoughts about this. I really would like to hear from you on all of our social media platforms. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, share, and hopefully today's the day I've earned your subscription. And don't forget, we have two other videos on there: Florida Air, Florida Age Verification, and the SCOTUF Age Verification. We have that out, and we have a couple of anime. Uh, videos out there as well. So do check it out here on Cutacast TV and Mad Man with the Show. Until next time, thank you for tuning in and uh, bye bye now. Thanks for watching, commenting, and sharing this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe as this helps the reach of this channel. Finally, as a content viewer, you have the ability to help support this channel as new internet laws around the world will diminish our reach and affect our sponsors. If you choose to help, there are two ways listed in the description below. The first link will lead you to a pay site where you can make a monetary donation. The second will lead you to our gear shop where you can buy shirts, mugs, and other gear. Discounts will be listed on the site. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.